Hi everyone, Blessed Be here, and I'm just sitting around the house, very bored, waiting for my boyfriend to come home. Um, I had the day off today, so home alone. He works, I don't know, all day. <laughs> so yeah, just sitting here bored, so I thought I would make this video, and I want to talk about what I do in my free time when I'm not on MySpace or YouTube or Twitter or Facebook or Neopets or any other website that I visit because I, I really have an addiction <laughs> with the internet but uh, when I could get off of the internet I try to read a book not into fiction I'd rather read nonfiction so I'm going to talk about some of my favorite books that I have read and some books that I'm reading right now so I'm just going to start from the top of my pile this book right here I have completed and it's called The Black Americans, A History in Their Own Words and it's by Milton Meltzer. <laughs> Probably said that wrong. I'll just put the name on the side for you. But uh, this book is really good. It's just a history on black Americans and instead of giving you uh, the history in a viewpoint from like someone outside of the race this goes from well like it says the history in their own words it's going by uh, black Americans letters memoirs testimonies and uh, poems and it's just telling about their experience and how they felt as history went by and they're just giving you know kind of an insight that you can't get from someone that you know that is not black I guess apparently so yeah this book it's pretty thick um, let's see how many pages it has I'm not gonna go into too many detail about the books I you know if you're interested you can always go look yourself but um, this book has like around 290 pages a little bit more and I know a lot of people don't have time for books or time to read but um, honestly you can get through a book by just go reading some of it like a little bit um, a little bit a day like I've gone through books waiting at bus stops waiting to meet a friend waiting at appointments waiting for my Weight Watchers meeting to start so you really can fit a book in uh, even though you think you may not have enough time so this one here the black American Milton Meltzer history in their own words awesome book one of my favorite books I love books talking about our black history. Uh, it doesn't matter what race you are, like seriously, um, you can still read this book, but if you're black, I think you can really, you know, you'll get a joy out of reading this book and you'll feel a better connection. <laughs> um, another one of my favorite books is this one. The Crime of the Century, The Lindbergh Kidnapping Hoax. It's about Charles Lindbergh and his baby being kidnapped and murdered. Um, Charles Lindbergh, the first to fly solo across the Atlantic. Um, you know through history, his little son was kidnapped one day and they later found him murdered. This book, if you're, <laughs> I guess if you're a person who's not really open to, open to thinking that a person is a, an idol or icon as a Charles Lindbergh is can do no wrong then this book is not for you because this book is gonna kinda like well, it doesn't put Charles Lindbergh down but this book kinda makes him a big suspect actually it makes him the prime suspect so this book kinda investigates the case and makes Charles Lindbergh pretty much look like the kidnapper and the, ac the accidental murderer so I love this book I have read it twice twice all the way through. I read it like a long time ago when I was in I think 8th or ninth grade, no 8th grade or some 7th or 8th grade and then I read it again probably like maybe three years ago but really good book if you're into I won't say conspiracy but if you're into you know uh, kinda like mystery and looking at facts and you know solving or solving, solving, <laughs> solving crimes this book is good to read I guess. <laughs> Another book I like is called In My Place by Charlene Hunter Galt. Um, I actually haven't finished reading this book. This is what I'm currently reading. But uh, Charlene Hunter Galt, she is uh, one of the first 
uh, African Americans to attend Georgia State University. And this book is just about her experience with uh, with that and being, I guess, one of the. It actually goes through like her childhood childhood life and her growing up, but it'll also show you like a. Uh, how she felt, you know, being one of the first black students at an all-white college at the time. So, yeah, really good book. Another book that I absolutely, absolutely, oh my gosh, I'm so glad that I read is He's Just Not That Into You, and it's by Greg, uh, God, I can't pronounce his name, Baron and Liz Tassio. I'm sorry for mutilating those names. Like I said, I'll put the name in the corner. This book, I know a lot of people have read it. Um, there is an episode on Sex in the City titled this, and this book saved my life when I, right now I have a boyfriend. We've been together for a little over two years, but when I was single, I picked up this book and I read it, and it pretty much saved my dating life. Before I read this book, I had been on like, I was single for a year, and I had been on so many dates, and you know, just, there'd be dates where I'd um, maybe, hang out with this person twice or you know we'd go on maybe four dates and I would just analyze like oh wonder if this guy really likes me is this really going anywhere oh he didn't call me maybe he's just you know maybe he's just waiting until later or you know oh he's acting very distant maybe he's just going through some emotional problems no this book right here will tell you flat out and you know there's a movie out about this now tells you flat out how to deal with guys that, if a guy does certain things to a girl, it just means he's just not into you. Like, if a guy's going to ignore you and not call you after, you know, a couple of dates or something, he's just not that into you. Guys that are into you act a certain way. Um, they act a little bit different than guys who um, aren't into you. So, this book saved my life. After I read this book, I did not waste time on any guys. Like, I went out on one date, and I could tell after that if it was going anywhere or not. If I thought it wasn't going anywhere, psh, dropped them like hotcakes drop them without even wasting any time with the losers so good book if you're single even if you're not single it'll help you determine if there's really anything there with the relationship that you're in at the moment so good book down to my last few books this one I'm not going to go through too many details but it's called eat this not that by david zigzanko <laughs> i'm bad at names but <laughs> This book is just uh, showing you, like, it has a lot of pictures in it. I don't know. It just shows you, like, for instance, if you're going to Outback Steakhouse or if you're going to KFC or something, it shows you what you should be eating instead of, you know, what's kind of like a more healthier entree for you than the more fat-laden entree. So, really good book for... I, I won't say dieters out there, but people who really care about uh, making better food choices. Um, the book that I'm going to hold up next, The Black Woman's Guide to Beautiful Hair, and it's by Lisa Akbari. Uh, this book is actually probably the last one that, that I completed, like most recently. I think I finished this book two weeks ago. Um, as you guys know, I just did my Big Chop not that long ago, so <laughs> I actually read this before I did the Big Chop. Not saying this kind of like, this actually, this book didn't prompt me to do the Big Chop, but um, it put me at, a little at ease. It just shows you how um, no matter what kind of hair you have, natural or relaxed, you can have healthy hair. So this book gives you a lot of tips on how to wash your hair, things not to use in your hair. Um, things to look at when you're you know looking at products and trying to decide if they're gonna be good for you or not or like when you try a product trying to determine if that product really is giving you some kind of benefits good benefits or if it's hurting your hair this book is really good so for those natural sisters out there this is a really good book to oh actually if you're not natural you can read it too but this this helps having healthy hair either way so those are all of the books that I have, you know, I guess partially read or am complete, completing. Um, I don't know, I really enjoy reading books. I, I'm a very bored person. Um, simple things, I guess, make me entertained. So if I'm not playing video games on my Yobo, I'm going to be reading a book. 